Quentin Tarantino revisits 1969 Tinseltown in his sprawling new film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. A riveting documentary peels back the secret life of 60 Minutes legend Mike Wallace, plus our annual homage to Shark Week. I'm Bill Newcott, film critic for the Saturday Evening Post. All that this week on Movies for the Rest of Us. Quentin Tarantino is a glutton for punishment. Well, punishment for his movie characters, that is. His eight films have been noteworthy not only for their body counts, but also for the ghastly ways those bodies pile up. Now, in his ninth film, the casualties still mount, but there's an unexpected sweetness to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a surprisingly big-hearted look at Los Angeles in 1969. That's your son? No, it's my stunt double, Cliff Booth. Oh, the shooting. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing. Leonardo DiCaprio stars as a hard-drinking TV star, and Brad Pitt plays his best friend in stunt double. It's official, old buddy. Well, it has been. Superstar pairings don't always pay off in movies, but this time the result is pure big screen magic. DiCaprio and Pitt have an easy chemistry as a couple of guys who would be absolute losers if they weren't so unreasonably successful. So you still direct, huh? Still here. You can do anything you want to him. Their easy banter and gentle roughhousing make this seem like anything but a Tarantino film until Pitt meets up with Charlie Manson's family and we meet DiCaprio's neighbors, Sharon Tate and Roman Polanski. But if you think you know how Once Upon a Time in Hollywood ends, think again. Tarantino has a way of rewriting history. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Mike Wallace. He was tough as nails, never took orders from anybody. Few things struck fear into the hearts of corrupt politicians and greedy businessmen more than the words, Mike Wallace is here. And that's the name of an eye-opening new documentary from Avi Belkin, who goes way, way back into the archives of early TV to create this sometimes stark, sometimes heartbreaking portrait of the man who invented the hard-hitting TV interview. It was my first... I'll ask the question, please. You're a son of a bitch. Do you know that? Oh, come on. You are a son of a bitch. When you go abroad recently, as we did, to get this interview with Kirk Douglas, you really get to find out what a good cigarette like this means to a smoker. And here's your $100,000 host, Mike Wallace. Most striking are clips of Wallace as a cheery, chatty game show host. Good evening and welcome to the big surprise, the show with the $100,000 big prize. Followed by his transformation into the steely-eyed 60 Minutes reporter we came to love and some came to fear. What we're defending is the people's right to know. It's just about time for Shark Week, those seven days when the Discovery Channel turns its entire schedule over to all things sharky. For its 31st annual Shark Week, Discovery is airing its first ever scripted shark movie, Capsized, Blood on the Water, starring Josh Duhamel. And in keeping with a long-standing tradition here at Movies for the Rest of Us, here's our annual tribute to Shark Week. Daniel, is that a shark? Maybe. Baby shark, shark, shark. Baby shark, shark, shark. Baby shark, shark, shark. Baby shark. Get it together. Mommy shark, shark, shark. Mommy shark, shark, shark. Mommy shark, shark, shark. Mommy shark. My God. It's megalodon. Daddy shark, shark, shark. Daddy shark, shark, shark. Daddy shark, 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 daddy shark. Let's go hunt, hunt, hunt. Let's go hunt, hunt, hunt. Let's go hunt, hunt, hunt. Let's go hunt. Run away, way, way, run away.